Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ashley and on this channel we talk all things budgeting and cash stuffing, including sinking funds and savings challenges. So today we're going to go over how I am revamping my binder system. As you can see over here, I currently have seven binders that I am working with. So for 2023, we are kind of moving some things around, condensing a few things and making it a little bit easier. Um, so we are going to get rid of some of these binders. So if you're interested in seeing how I am reworking my budget for 2023, make sure you stick around for the rest of this video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, y'all, let's get into it. Okay, so first let's kind of talk what my personal goals are for 2023. So this year, you know, we've been kind of doing a lot of things with the Disney binder. We had a big trip planned. Um, and now that that is going to be done with at the beginning of January, I keep getting asked, what is your next step? So this trip was made before I even started really budgeting. Um, so 2023 is going to be focusing on paying off debt and just bumping up a lot of our sinking funds and emergency funds and retirement. Um, so that is kind of what we are going to be looking at mostly for 2023. Now, right now with seven binders, it's a lot, y'all. It is so much um, so we are going to kind of rework some things, but let's just go ahead and start with, let's see, what is going to be staying the same? Because that's just the easiest place to start. So our bill binder, um, nothing is going to be changing in here. Um, I am for 2023 and most likely going forward, going to be sticking using prop money in my bill binder. Um, the only thing that might change in here, um, would just be if I want to like break the two car payments up. I've been kind of thinking about that because that we now have two car payments versus the one. Um, but I think the bill binder is going to stay the same as it was. So we're going to move that off to the side over here. The next binder that's going to stay the same is going to be our cash envelope binder. Um, I've pretty much gotten down where we need to be in here. And I really think the categories that I have in here work for me and my family um, and just our normal spending purchases and stuff throughout each week. Um, yeah, so we're going to stick with this. Nothing's going to change in this one. Now, what's going to change? Everything else. So let's kind of go through each binder um, here now, and we're going to take out our envelopes and stuff. So actually, let's go ahead and start with subscriptions. Um, Jim, we're going to keep we're going to keep the money in most of these binders. Um, in their specific spot. We're going to be moving a few things around here and there. So Jim, iCloud, we are keeping those here. Tone it up, y'all. I have decided to not move forward with my Tone It Up app subscription. Um, it's kind of sad because I have been into Tone It Up for, God, 10 years now. Um, but if I'm being honest with myself, I haven't really been reaching for the app a lot lately. Um, and I'm trying to get more back into running and I just don't feel like it is worth it to keep going, um, and paying the $60 a year to use the app. So I am getting rid of that envelope. This $60, um, will be going back into... The subscription binder, I'm not 100% sure where I want to put it yet. 
Um, but I am going to do a video um, showing how I'm updating the subscription binder. So it's going to stay with this binder for now. Um, BJ's is fully funded. All of these are going to come out, but they are going to be staying in the subscription binder overall, but we are going to be, we're going to be changing things up. So I'm just going to take everything out, um, but still kind of have it here. Um, so that's pretty much it with the subscription. We're getting rid of tone it up. So that's going to be there. I'm going to move this off over to the side now. Let's talk about sinking funds. So we've already gotten rid of one sinking fund at the end of 2022 here. We no longer have car down payment. Um, all of these envelopes, let's see. Yes, all of these envelopes are gonna be staying with us in 2023. We're not getting rid of any of them, so we're gonna keep the money in there. Um, but we're not... And I'll get into what's going on with um, the sinking funds here shortly. Um, <clears throat> Disney binder. Now this one I am going to keep together for now. I'm actually not going to take it apart. Um, I might switch the Disney envelopes over to a different binder um, than this current one because I think I'm going to use this for sinking funds. But Disney binder, um, we're still going to work on until our trip. So I'm actually going to push that one aside. Let's go over and take it. This will be the next easy one. So we're going to take out everything from the business binder. Now I am still going to be using most of these envelopes. So Ashley Marie Budgets um, is going to be moving into one of the sinking funds sections. And actually, I'm getting rid of the YouTube envelope, but I am going to put this $5 um, into Ashley Marie Budgets. And we are just going to condense those two envelopes now. Everything is going to be in this one, this one envelope. Okay. Splice and Canva <clears throat> are actually going to be moved over into the subscription binder for next year. So I'm going to put that over there with that for now. Now taxes. Taxes for YouTube and Etsy I usually keep separate. Um, for 2023 I am going to put all of my taxes in the same envelope. I'm going to stuff them um, throughout the month and then at the end of each month I'm going to take that money out and put it into um, our savings account. So these envelopes, what's in here is gonna be moved into my other tax envelope and we are just gonna streamline it and have one tax envelope throughout all of our binders. So those envelopes will be going away. And now let's talk savings challenges because this, this and sinking funds is kind of where things are changing up for us in 2023. Um, I decided to go ahead instead of having like a sinking fund binder and a savings challenge binder, I'm going to streamline it, streamline it a little bit more. Um, I am going to be doing instead of the sinking funds and savings challenges, I am going to have a high priority sinking funds and a low priority sinking funds. Now that does not mean that our savings challenge trackers will be going away and I will go over that um, once in another video when I'm going over what is going to be in each of those binders. Um, but currently this challenge is finished. Um, I went over that last time. Um, this challenge was the fall challenge and we ended up with 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 110, 115. I am actually going to add that in to the Christmas envelope today. So we're gonna move that over into Christmas. Now Christmas, and actually I'm gonna move this over here because we will be moving on to our winter challenge. Um, and we'll go over that in one of the videos. Christmas is going to stay as one of the um, sinking funds. Retirement is going to 
be one of the sinking funds, um, but I am gonna go ahead and unstuff this money out of the envelope now. So for the rest of 2022, we are gonna be doing a majority of our focus, um, getting our Disney binder and vacation stuff ready. Um, so I am not gonna be adding anything else to a majority of these challenges for the rest of the year, which literally is like, what, two weeks? Um, so I'm gonna take the money out of here, which I have 500 in the bank, 600, 650, 670, 680, 690, 95, 700. So this money is gonna go into my Roth IRA and that means we ended the year with $700 being added to that. So we're gonna take that money aside. Um, I am also going to unstuff emergency savings. We are gonna start fresh um, for most of our challenges um, in 2023. So I'm gonna take out, and actually I need to make sure I am writing this down somewhere to the side. So give me one minute here and I'm gonna make little notes for myself so I know for later. All right, so retirement should be at 700. Um, emergency. So I am going to unstuff this and put it in my emergency. I have a separate um, savings account for emergency. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80. And we are going to start this fresh for 2023. Um, because one of the goals for 2023 is I want to be able to see exactly how much we saved in our sinking funds throughout the year. Um, so we're going to unstuff this and we're starting fresh. Um, vacation, vacation, the money that is in here, I'm just going to go ahead and move into the Disney binder, um, because this will be extra money for that trip in general, but there is $55 here and I'm going to take that out of this envelope and it'll go back into the Disney binder. Um, pet emergency, again, I'm gonna be taking that money out and putting it into our um, savings account. So we have 145 here for pet emergency. All right, date night. So date night, we are actually going to be using this week. Um, but we're going to take it out and I'm just going to go ahead and put this money in our dining envelope. But we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70. There is nothing in travel. Oh, and I should say all of these envelopes here are going to be going into one of the sinking funds binders. All right, and last but not least, the $1 challenge, y'all. I have decided to not move forward with this challenge in 2023. Um, it was fun this year, but I'm just, I'm just not feeling it like I was at the beginning. So we are gonna be getting rid of the $1 challenge for 2023. Um, as you can see here, we did end up with a good amount. We ended up with $66 in 2022. And this money I am gonna go ahead and put towards Disney as well. Um, I will not be putting all of these ones in there, but I will put the $60 towards Disney or the $66 towards Disney. All right, so now we are left with all of these challenges and actually I'm gonna go ahead and take all of these challenges out because all of these are gonna be starting fresh. I have new challenges, new trackers, 
um, that we will be using for all of these. So, like I said, um, let's see, I'm gonna take this out, but I'm leaving the money in Christmas because we are still using that. Um, we are going to be Yeah. Okay. So all of these are going to be sinking funds. Some of them, the money is going to be staying in there. Obviously some I took out. Um, but I am going to do a separate video on how I am breaking everything up. Um, I will show you the new savings challenges, um, and what the goals are going to be for these three binders. So the three binders are going to be subscriptions, um, high priority sinking funds and low priority sinking funds. So I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, just to kind of make everything easier. I just wanted to kind of show you what we are taking out and starting fresh with. Um, so look out, there's going to be three videos and we're going to be focusing on what our goals are in each of those new or kind of newly revamped binders. So that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.